What's up guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to unlock any iPhone out there. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using my iPhone 12 Pro, but this method will work for any other smartphone, any other iPhone. It doesn't really matter which generation you have. Today I'm gonna show you how to do a passcode unlock and a factory carrier unlock. There are two types of lock, as you know already. So the passcode unlock is if your phone is locked with a specific passcode and you cannot access it. I'm gonna show you how to restore your iPhone so that you're able to use it back again. If you're interested only on the passcode unlock, please go ahead and skip to this minute because that's where we start with the passcode unlock. I'm gonna also show you how to do a carrier unlock and a carrier unlock will allow you to use your iPhone with any other SIM card in any other country in any part of the world. So your phone will be compatible and will be factory unlocked and it will be able to accept and read any SIM card from any other different company. So uh, with that said, we're gonna start first with a carrier unlock. So for the carrier unlock, I have to mention two specific points. Number one, your phone must not be reported as lost or stolen. So if there's a report or is that there's a blacklist report on your iPhone, this method will not work and you will not be able to do a carrier unlock on your iPhone. And the second point is that I have used this method more than 100 times. It works almost perfectly. However, I have to mention that this, this is not a free service. We will have to pay something to unlock this iPhone. But as I said before, it's worth every penny to have your phone fully factory unlocked and compatible with any SIM card worldwide. So with that said, let's begin. The first thing you have to do is to get your phone's IMEI number. So to do that, simply open the phone application and dial the following command, star hash zero six hash. And as you will see, your 15 digit IMEI number will appear in the screen of your iPhone. We're gonna use this number in a few seconds in order to do a remote carrier unlock on this iPhone. You can also find the IMEI number in the SIM card tray. It's a very tiny number written in the SIM card tray, which you can see here. And now we're gonna switch to the computer because the rest of the process will take place on the computer. All right, so the first thing you have to do is to go to the website unlockriver.com. In this website, we will request the remote unlocking of the iPhone. So we just need to uh, go here to the, this form and we're gonna select the original carrier that your phone is locked to. My phone is originally locked to AT&T in the US. So I will select that one. Then you select the brand. I'm gonna select Apple. And then you will select the model. So go ahead and select the iPhone model you're trying to unlock. But this method will work for any other version. Lastly, we're gonna insert the 15 digit IMEI number. That's the number we got at the beginning of the video. Uh, th if you don't know this number, we can also get it from the back part of the box. Anyways, make sure you write it down correctly. Then you're gonna write down your personal email where you wanna get notified once we get um, the confirmation to unlock this iPhone. Make sure you write it down correctly. If you scroll down, you're gonna see the average delivery time and the price to unlock your iPhone. This will always vary depending on your phone's brand, carrier, and model. So keep that in mind. Then we're gonna proceed by clicking unlock now. And on the following screen, you're gonna see a summary of your order. Just double check everything here. Make sure you read all the information. It is always safe to understand how unlocking a phone uh, works, but no worries. This is 100% safe. I have unlocked more than 100 iPhones using this method. And um, so we're gonna just proceed down here to place the order. And I'm gonna be back once everything is completed. I'm, I'm gonna show you how, what's the next step once you have completed your order. So I'll be back in a few seconds. All right, so after placing your order, you just have to wait until you get the confirmation that your iPhone has been unlocked. So it will take a couple of days. Sometimes it's super fast. Sometimes it takes a couple of more um, days. So you have to be very patient. But once your order is completed, you're gonna get an email just like this. So we're gonna switch to my personal email and I'm gonna show you how's the email that I just got. As you can see here, I got this message from Unlock River and it says order completed, iPhone successfully unlocked. We're gonna open it. And as you can see here, it says your iPhone has been factory unlocked. Now simply we need to connect the iPhone to the internet. And there are two ways we can do this, using the Wi-Fi method and the iTunes method. For this example, we're gonna use the iTunes method. All right, so now we're gonna do a couple of things. First, we're gonna power off the iPhone. So press and hold the volume up key and the power off button. We're gonna slide to turn it off. So now we have to insert a non-supported SIM card. For example, my phone is locked to AT&T. I'm gonna use a SIM card that it's not from AT&T. I'm gonna use a different carrier. For this example, I'm gonna use my T-Mobile SIM card. You can use any other SIM card and your phone will be compatible. So now we're gonna connect the iPhone to the computer to activate the unlock. So I'm just gonna connect it and now we're gonna run iTunes on the computer. Make sure you're running the latest version of iTunes. I'm gonna include a link in the description of this video where you can go ahead and download it. 
So we're gonna wait a couple of seconds and you should get this message that basically confirms that the iPhone has been successfully unlocked. Boom. There you go, guys. That's how you unlock an iPhone. So as you can see here, guys, my phone is now fully unlocked. We have a full signal bar and my phone is currently running with the new carrier. It's on T-Mobile and my phone is now fully compatible with any SIM card in any country. It is as simple as that, guys. And this is how you do a factory unlock on an iPhone 12. So now we're gonna start with the passcode lock. So if you forgot the passcode of your phone and your iPhone is locked, I'm gonna show you how to bypass this screen so that you're able to use it again. It's also possible that your phone is disabled because of so many um, fail attempts to unlock your iPhone. Uh, no worries, I'm gonna show you how to bypass this in order to use your phone again. Now, there are a few things that I need to mention before we proceed. And the first thing is that your phone will be completely erased. So all the photos, contacts, pictures, um, notes, everything will be completely deleted from this phone. But if you're lucky, you will have a backup in your computer or in the iCloud and you will be able to get your information back into your iPhone. But if not, we're going to do a full factory reset. And by the way, make sure that you don't have an iCloud lock. I'm assuming that you are the owner of this iPhone, so I'm going to show you how to do a full factory reset. So to begin, we have to install the latest version of iTunes in the computer. It works for Windows or for Mac users. It doesn't really matter as long as you have the latest version of iTunes. I'm going to include a link in the description of this video where you can download and install the latest version of iTunes. We will also need the cable, so make sure your phone is connected to the computer. So we're going to go ahead and connect the iPhone. And now we're going to enter recovery mode on this iPhone. So to enter recovery mode, we simply are going to press the volume up key, then the volume down key, and then we're going to press and hold the turn on and turn off key here. So here we go. Press volume up key, volume down, and press and hold the power off key. So we're just going to press and hold it for approximately 30 seconds, and the phone will be completely shut down immediately. And now we have to wait until we get the Connect to iTunes logo on the screen of the iPhone. Now, this may take a couple of attempts, so don't be afraid of trying it again and again until it works for you. So we're just going to wait and we should get a screen in the middle of the iPhone that says that we should connect the iPhone to the computer, as you can see here. Perfect. Now we're going to switch to the computer. iTunes will detect that your iPhone has been detected as recovery mode. We're going to proceed by clicking restore and the iPhone will be completely restored and updated to the latest version. It's gonna take a couple of minutes, even a few hours if your internet connection is a bit slow, but I'll be back once my iPhone has been completely restored. So once the restore is completed, you're gonna be able to access your phone again. So you just have to set up all the initial settings and you will be good to go and you will be able to use your phone again. And now you can see the iPhone has been fully unlocked and now boom, we're able to access the phone again. So that's it guys, that's how you unlock any iPhone. It is as simple as that. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Christian and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.